At the Couchbase Connect demo last fall, we showed an application that illustrated a number of features of the Couchbase data platform. Uh, I really encourage you to take a look at that video from that demonstration. Uh, it shows the application being used with a pretty large data set and shows uh, cloud failover and some other things that I won't be able to show here. I'm actually going to be running what I'm showing you today uh, entirely on my laptop. Uh, so it's great to see the, the full demo uh, in that, and I'll put a link to the video into the notes for, for this one. What I'd like to do, though, is uh, dive down into some of the details of it. It's a little bit hard to see what's going on during the demo uh, the way it's, it's shot, so I want to uh, let people see this up, up close. So the application consists of a web console. So this is a front end and a back end uh, application. And of course, using the Couchbase uh, Enterprise class database for the uh, database piece. But there's also a mobile application. And that mobile application is using Couchbase Lite on the device uh, to store data and then using Couchbase Sync Gateway to do the synchronization from the data to the Couchbase server back end. Um, it's also got a little bit of an IoT aspect to it, too, uh, which is really cool. And that's, that's where I'm going to start today. So what it involves is, let's see if we can get a shot of this. This is a Texas Instruments reference module. And what it is, it's an NFC patch that uh, is batteryless, so the power for driving this little microcontroller that's on here comes from the NFC reader, in this case in, in my phone. Uh, so I really like this, this uh, thought it was a cool aspect that you have this temperature sensing patch that operates completely without battery. Um, and so that kind of inspired this idea of, of a healthcare aspect to it. So what I'd like to do, what I've got up on the screen here is you can see the, the web console and I've also got something that's recording my, my phone. Uh, so let me show that that's live and what I'm going to do is start, is start taking some recordings of it. So uh, I think we'll be able to see this here and I'll bring the patch up to the reader and you should be able to see it re responding both on the phone and you can see that being recorded and you see those readings being uh, updated in the, the, the console there. So what's going on here? What's happening is we have the readings coming from the patch uh, to the phone, the application on the phone. That application is storing those readings in uh, Couchbase Lite. And then those, that data is being automatically synchronized to the Couchbase backend using Sync Gateway. Um, and then on Couchbase server side, we actually have using uh, something called the eventing service is, is actually pushing the data to my, my web client. Now with that, uh, I'd actually like, so what, what I want to show is now is this operating. So I'm going to put my, my phone into uh, airplane mode. So now we have what's we have the application working offline. So I'm going to go ahead and take some more readings with that. And you can see the, the phone is, is getting a bunch of readings off of the patch, uh, but the web console isn't, isn't updating. You can see the phone temperature, you know, it's being reflected off of directly off the device. And so now let's go back and go ahead and take ourselves uh, out of airplane mode. So what's happening is all this data has been stored on the phone, and now once we reconnect, we're going to get automatic synchronization of the data back to Couchbase server. So it'll take a second to recognize that it's able to connect again. And then as you can see, the chart in the uh, web client is, is updating automatically now. So that's it for that piece. I wanted to just make these brief snippets to, to illustrate, to focus in on uh, specific aspects of the demo. 
Um, keep an eye out for more videos like this. You can also uh, check out the blog posts, uh, write-ups around it. Uh, more possibly more importantly is that the source code for this entire application is now open on GitHub and I will put a link to the repo there in the show notes. Uh, so go ahead and check that out. I'll be talking uh, more things about how to actually set up everything. This, this actually, there's a lot going on here so it's actually a bit of a complicated setup. Um, we've got some example data to use. You can run all, I've uh, got it arranged so you can run everything off of a single machine if you want. Um, we've got it doing it working either uh, standalone or, or using Docker containers, so you can even set up a, a little cluster and, and do uh, failover uh, aspects to it and things like that. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you next time.